Hi, everybody, we're back. Day two of Falcon 2022. We're live from the Aria in Las Vegas. Silicon Angles, The Cube. My name is Dave Vellante, and Rob Picard is here. He's the security lead for Vanta, a company that CrowdStrike just made an investment in. Rob, thanks for coming to The Cube. Thank you very much, happy to be here. So that's big news. You know, you got a, a big name like CrowdStrike, strategic investment. Um, tell us about that. Yeah, it's very exciting because CrowdStrike obviously is you know, a major name in the security space, and Vanta is a uh, really, leading the way in a lot of the compliance automation, but being able to sort of dip into that, that security space more and more, having CrowdStrike behind us is huge. What is compliant, uh, compliance automation? Tell us more about what Vanta does. Yeah, so Vanta ultimately is a tool um, that gives you an automatic way to prepare for your SOC 2 audit, or your ISO 2701 audit, or you know, insert long list of dozens of standards we're working on here. Um, but in the olden days, you would provide a thousand screenshots to an auditor that proves that for the past year, past six months, you've been doing what you say you're doing. Vanta just plugs directly into your systems and proves that evidence to them uh, without the need for all of that. Okay, so software's a service and yep, you char a service charge monthly problem. or, okay. Yeah, something like that. Educate me. If I'm cloud first or cloud only, yep. can I just pull a SOC report off of AWS and send that to the auditors and say, here you go? That'll help, right? Like if you, if you do that, if you're in AWS and you pull their, you know, um, I think their security hub, you can pull some of these controls right. in, right? But the question is, what do you do then about your endpoints, right? What do you do about, hey, did we offboard everybody from all of the systems we have enabled, right? All of the SaaS systems we use. And so what Vanta does is we integrate with AWS, but we also integrate with every other system you're using, including your HR system and your identity provider to make sure that, hey, you know, all of these things uh, are, are working in sync to ensure your compliance. So you're a relatively new parent, but you ever, you know the book, if you give a mouse a cookie, you I will, don't. you will. The whole thing is you give a mouse a cookie and then eight million things happen, all these other dependencies, and it goes around and around and around. Yes. He's going to want some milk. Okay, I feel like it's the same thing in your world, right? I mean, there is, is, is there an end? When do you know you're done? Yeah, I mean, ultimately you know you're done when the auditor hands you your, your SOC 2 uh, report, you know, and you have your attestation, you say, hey, I'm SOC 2 compliant, um, or you know, your ISO cert, but even then it's going to keep going, right? I think the tricky part is there are some key systems that you, you want to have you know, your eyes on and you want to be monitoring and making sure that, hey, in a year from now when that audit happens, I'm not going to be surprised at what they find, right? Um, and those are going to be your cloud provider, right? Those are going to be your HR system uh, telling you when people joined and when people left, and those are going to be your identity provider and your endpoints, right? Are you guys obviously compliance experts. Is, is it really a matter of sort of codifying that expertise or is there a machine intelligence component involved, a, you know, discovery, how does it work? That's a great question actually, and I think part of it is you know, encoding that expertise in the product and making sure that you know, there's not necessarily, you know, if you ask uh, any given SOC to auditor for like, hey, what controls should I be using that you're going to audit me against? And it's your job to come up with the control, so they'll provide you some, you know, their set, but it's going to be different between them, right? The standard itself is not a list of controls. But what we can do is we can provide you that list of controls and say like, hey, we've actually worked with a ton of auditors and they've worked with us and we can say, this is what you need to do to get started here. And then if you have custom controls to add later, you, want to, you, know, you can do that. But, so there's part of that's encoding the expertise. But then part of it is just understanding the world of, of the auditors enough that we can help guide you through it. Because you know, like you said, you can go to AWS and you can download a report right, that says, look, I have you know, these SOC 2 controls passed right now. But the question is, you, know, you still have to then go hand that to an auditor, have conversations with them, get through all of their questions back to you, and that can get really, really in the weeds. So we have like teams of experts who sit on calls with auditors and customers and help them through this stuff when needed, right? And hopefully it's not needed as much when you're you know, automating most of it. So that's a, a, a component of your uh, offering is, is a, a services Capability is that part of the offering? Is that a four-pay service? Yeah, so you know you have to talk to the sales team to understand how they yeah, bundle yeah, it all. Yeah. But you know, essentially, we have these professional services teams and these partners that jump in. I think a lot of times it really is just, hey, like the auditor asks this question, we don't know how to answer it. We'll send somebody to jump. Let's on the jump call. on a call. Exactly. And, and yeah. simply, but We're, if you need more intense, you know, work services, then maybe that's available. Yeah. Okay. And and is there a privacy aspect of your software? Yeah, so um, Vanta software does actually also support GDPR and CCPA um, to kind of help you. You know, it, it's hard to get your head around that stuff. You want to talk about like encoding expertise, um, yep. you know, having people inside Vanta who can talk through the product and say like, hey, 
uh, this is what we need to test for in a customer's environment, and this is what we need to point to that maybe you know you can't automatically test for, but we can give them some template policies or or procedures for them to have um, in their company, and we can provide all of that um, to try to to help you feel good about hey we're we're compliant with GDPR, or we're compliant with CCPA, and we're not going to have problems here. And, and da is data, data sovereignty, I presume, is is part of that? Like, you know, data sovereignty, man. I'm not the expert on data sovereignty. I'll tell you that, but. I know that is definitely a part of that. Um, I don't know, you know how deep it goes uh, when it comes to um, you know, the requirements of any given company. Though. Well, it's tricky because a lot of it hasn't been tested in, the, in courts of law. There's just it's sort of guidelines tricky. there. Yeah. And then a lot of times you don't, how do you really know where the data is, right? I mean, you kind of can yeah. infer it. But and you can get real clever. You can start encrypting data that sits somewhere here, but you have the keys over here and say, right. no, 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 the keys are in the right country, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that counts. Uh, right, so and like it gets say, real that's tricky. not really been tested, that, the logic of that. What are the hard parts of what you guys do and, and, and what makes you different from everybody else out there? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I'd say a couple things are, are really hard about what we do, right? One is uh, maintaining good reputations with auditors. Because the goal is ultimately that an auditor sees Vanta and they say, okay, Vanta says that checkbox is checked, I don't have to worry about it. And that's where we are with so many auditors today, right? But that wasn't like that in the beginning. In the beginning it was, you know, hey, we're showing you the code that actually looks and checks that box, right? Um, but the other hard part is just integrating with the long tail of systems that every customer needs, right? Like if you use a certain HR system and we don't support it, then that's going to really dampen your value that you get out of the product. So the engineering challenge is maintaining a reliable set of both high quality tests and high quality integrations with these uh, uh, services. What are the synergies with, with CrowdStrike? Kind of, you know, it's, maybe it seems obvious, but explain where you pick up and where they leave off. Yeah, I think that's a that's a great point. So, um, you know, we have a very like uh, a very a very simple uh, agent that will run. If you need something on your laptop that says, "Hey, uh, look, this laptop, the disk is encrypted, right? Um, the screen lock is set appropriately for my controls, right?" So we have some some basic capabilities. Um, it's based on OS Query for for those interested. Um, but it's not a full-fledged endpoint protection platform, right? And that's where something like CrowdStrike can come in, where we can integrate with them and say, okay, hey, if you're ready to move on to something that's, that's a little bit more full-fledged and a little bit more of a, you know, going to protect you against malware and that sort of thing, then you can move on to CrowdStrike, and we can integrate directly with them, and we can pull all the information we need, and we can check all those boxes for you that say, hey, you have appropriate malware protection, you have disks encrypted, you have whatever it may be, right? We can pull that information from them, um, and we can also help you make sure that the people who have access to CrowdStrike itself and your company are the right set of people. Who do you sell to? Do you sell to the audit function within a company or do you sell directly to big auditors, both? So it's, we're mainly selling to uh, the, whoever's responsible for getting that SOC 2, getting that ISO, getting GDPR, you know, all these sorts of things at a company, right? So for a small business, right, a startup that's like two people. Could be the developer team. Exactly, yeah. we're selling either to the founders or developers or something like that, and we're saying, hey, you don't want to think about this at all. We can get you like 80% of the way there without having to send a single screenshot, and then there's like 20% of like, all right, we'll help you, you know, partner you with the right auditor that's good for your company um, and, and get you over the line. But then as we go and we sell to a mid-market company or you know, even potentially an enterprise, we're talking to people who have very specific expertise in either security or compliance who also don't want to have to do all this manual work. And it's a pure SaaS model, it runs in the cloud. How does it work? I just pointed at whatever software I want to, 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 to get you know, certified? That's exactly right, it's, a, it's pure SaaS. You go to you know, uh, the app.vanda.com, you log in, and then you go to the integrations page, right? You're, you're starting fresh, and you say, okay, well, AWS, here's how you integrate AWS, right? We use their assume role functionality and stuff like that to pull in um, you know, read-only uh, data from AWS. And then you can also go to your Okta, and you can say, okay, well, I can connect here through Okta, through a, you know, an Okta app, or I can connect to my Google through an OAuth um, that has the right permissions. Um, so we try to just limit the amount of permissions we have or the scope of our, our uh, you know, roles, but really it's just, you know, it's all API-based integrations that we then just pull the data we need to prove that you're doing what you say you're doing. Got it. Well, Rob, congratulations on the funding and the activity here at, uh, at CrowdStrike. Good show, so you know, good you. luck to you in the future. Thank you very much. All right, you're very welcome. All right, keep it right there, Dave Vellante for theCUBE. We'll be right back right, right after this short break from Falcon 22, live from the Aria in Las Vegas. Thank you.